Hey, welcome back to BHM University. I'm Jake with Broadway Home Medical, and today we're going to be going over the Baja Bandit from Pride Mobility. So stay tuned. The Bandit is the newest addition to the Baja lineup from Pride Mobility. It is a rugged four-wheel scooter that is also able to be disassembled for transport. Uh, if you want to come over here, we'll go over some of the uh, features. Uh, this is a key-based scooter. Uh, we have our ignition on the right-hand side, and uh, we're just going to insert our key here to uh, turn the scooter on. Uh, this features the Delta Wraparound Tiller. Uh, one thing that's unique about this scooter, it is a one-hand drive, so you are going to need to have the dexterity to uh, be able to pull back on the throttle to move it forward, and also push forward on the throttle to move it in reverse. Uh, you have two different uh, speed settings, uh, so we have a eco and a sport mode, uh, essentially a high and a low. Uh, you have a little rocker switch here that allows you to turn on your headlights as well as hazard lights. Uh, we have our standard battery meter here. Uh, you have a, a speed control knob um, that allows you to fine tune your top speed. Uh, you've got your tortoise and your hare, so you've got your fast and your slow. It uh, has a, a horn button here. Uh, then you also have your right and left turn signals. Uh, one thing that's unique about this scooter is in addition to having the electromagnetic brake, you also have a manual brake. So if you need to stop in a hurry uh, and letting off the uh, manual brake doesn't get you stopped fast enough, you can also squeeze the manual brake to uh, stop the scooter much quicker. Uh, if you want to swing around to the front here, we'll go over some of the features on the front. Uh, we have a uh, front basket here. Um, another new innovative feature that this scooter has is to adjust the uh, angle of the tiller. Uh, you just have this little knob here that you push forward on that allows you to move your tiller forward and backwards. Uh, some, of you, some of you may remember the old Pride scooters have that little uh, kind of a screw you have to loosen here. Uh, this is gonna be much easier and convenient for uh, our users. Um, we also have a front bumper. Uh, you have your front headlight. Uh, there is some adjustment to be able to angle this kind of up and down. Uh, it is a very bright headlight as well. So uh, this will definitely light up your path if you're out driving at night. Uh, then we have our hazard lights. Um, the scooter has a uh, suspension over all four wheels. Uh, it gives it a much smoother ride. Uh, we got rugged off-road tires here. Um, these are solid tires, so you don't have to worry about getting a flat while you're out driving. On the uh, left-hand side of the tiller, we have our charging port. Uh, one thing you're gonna need to make sure that you are using a lithium charger for these. So if you have other older scooters that are sealed lead acid batteries, you do not want to plug that into here because you could damage those batteries. On the uh, tiller here, right underneath the uh, dash, we also have a, a USB port uh, so you can charge your mobile device while you're on the go. On the side of the scooter, we also have um, bumper guards to help protect the sides of the scooter. Um, our seat here uh, is a standard 18-inch uh, memory foam seat. Uh, it is very comfortable. Um, also has the ability to adjust forward and backwards. Uh, one thing to take note of, if you do upgrade and get the 20-inch seat, you will lose that ability to slide your seat forward and backwards. The seat also does swivel um, a full 360 degrees around, so you can transfer easy. You can uh, sit off the back of the scooter if you want to back up to uh, like a dinner table. Uh, we have flip up and height adjustable arms. Uh, to adjust the height of the arms, uh, Pride does include the Allen key with the scooter. Um, and you just loosen this little screw in here, move your arms up and down to get them to the perfect height for you. And then just tighten that screw back down. Uh, if you want to whip around to the uh, back here, we'll go over some of the uh, features on the rear of the scooter. Uh, so like most Pride scooters, we have the uh, one inch little receiver tube here that allows you to plug in um, optional accessories like rear baskets, oxygen tank holders and such. 
Uh, you can also adjust the width of the arms. Uh, there is another little pin here we pull out, loosen this little thumb screw and you can move the arms in or out. Uh, just make sure you get that pin back in place, tighten your screw down, and you should be good to go. On the rear of the scooter, we also have tail lights and you have your turn signals and hazards as well. Uh, you can also see you've got a rear bumper guard here uh, to kind of help protect the rear of the scooter. Uh, the scooter is able to be disassembled, as I mentioned before, and we'll go over a quick little demonstration of how that's done. Uh, so like most Pride scooters, we're going to fold the back down, you know, lift up, set our seat aside. Uh, the batteries are housed in this pack here. Um, these are lithium ion batteries. Uh, we have the 20 amp system here. Um, you can get this in a 40 amp system as well. Uh, there's a little strap here you can lift up on to uh, remove your battery pack or you have handles on either side that you can lift up to remove the batteries. Um, that knob or the uh, lever, I should say, that we went over earlier, we're gonna push that forward so we can drop our tiller down, lock it into place. Then we have this lever on the rear of the scooter we'll lift up on to separate the front from the rear section. Uh, as you can see, the scooter does disassemble very easily. One thing to keep in mind though, when disassembled, uh, the front section here, it does weigh around 70 pounds. So if you're looking for something to uh, transport on a daily basis, uh, you're definitely gonna wanna keep that in mind. Um, as far as uh, reassembling the scooter, we're basically just gonna follow those steps in reverse. Clyde makes it very convenient for you. As you see, there's these green markers on the rear section. And then we have these hooks here on the front section that have those same green markers. We're gonna just line those up. If we get it just right, it should snap right into place. We're gonna pull up on that little lever on the tiller, to raise our tiller back up. We're gonna set our batteries back in place. Uh, while we have the batteries here, a couple things I wanna go over. Um, this is your uh, breaker switch for the batteries. So, if this gets an electrical surge, if you're driving off road or just uh, putting too much of a load on the system, it'll pop this breaker here before it'll fry your electronics. So if you turn your key on and you get absolutely no power, this would be the first place I would check. Just make sure that that is uh, pushed in. You also have a battery disconnect button here as well. So if you're going to store the scooter for a long time, um, I would definitely recommend turning that off. Um, That'll help keep your batteries uh, fresh and everything for when you get ready to use the scooter again. Reassembling the seat. Uh, the seat has this little male connector on it. And on our seat post here, we have the female connector. So we're going to just insert that in, make sure it locks in place. Flip our backrest back up. Uh, the basket, just like all Pride scooters, has this little bracket on it. It's just going to slide over these two little notches on the front. And now we're ready to ride. Hey, welcome back. Uh, I want to give you guys kind of an idea of what it's like to uh, drive one of these scooters inside our store here. Uh, so, you know, first impressions, I mean, this is a very comfortable seat. Um, something I think I failed to mention earlier in our video, but the seat actually does have suspension in it as well. Uh, so I don't know if you guys can catch that on the video, but there's actually a lot of flex in that seat. Um, it comes standard with a uh, heavy duty spring that's rated for up to 400 pounds. Uh, you will get a replacement spring um, that's rated for up to 200 pounds if you're under that 200 pound threshold. Uh, we do plan on shooting a little video on how to change that spring out here soon. So uh, be on the lookout for that as well. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get our tiller adjusted, situated just right. And, you know, for me, I'm about 200 pounds and uh, six foot tall. I mean, this is a, a very, very comfortable scooter. So uh, let's uh, see how this thing handles in our store here. You know, for being a four wheel scooter, the turning radius on it is actually pretty good. Let's see how it maneuvers going up and down the um, aisles here in our store. So we got plenty of room to maneuver and definitely handles making some of these uh, sharp turns very well. 
So this is definitely a good scooter for anybody who's looking, uh, you know, to take it shopping, uh, go indoors and outdoors. And uh, now I think we'll uh, take it outside and see how it handles out there. All right, let's see uh, how this thing does outdoors. Let's get moving. Uh, so like most Pride scooters, you know, it gets up to top speed pretty quick. Uh, this thing's got a top speed of just over eight miles per hour. Uh, you can definitely feel that suspension uh, going over these bumps with the uh, solid tires. It is a little bit rougher than uh, some of uh, Pride's other scooters. Definitely turns well and responds to uh, responds really well. I'm gonna whip around over here and uh, see how it does in the uh, grass. Definitely still feel that uh, suspension in the seat working too. Definitely handling our grass over here with no issues. A little bit of a bumpy ride with those solid tires. You know, so overall, I mean, it handled very well. Um, the solid tires do make a little bit of a rougher ride, but you can definitely feel that suspension working. I mean, you know, for what it is, for something that's smaller, easy to transport, disassembles, um, it's also very rugged, has a suspension in the, in the seat as well as all four wheels. Uh, so if you're looking for something that, you know, does good in stores, out shopping, um, but also can handle going over rough terrain um, and is easy to disassemble for transport, this is definitely a very good option for you. Uh, so, you know, like always, you know, we appreciate you watching. Um, we hope you learned something today. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I'm Jake with Broadway Home Medical, and we'll catch you next time.